That's well, kind of learned for the ages, wasn't it? What's that? Not learned for the ages. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Coach, you guys um, had a 32-17 third quarter. Then they were able to make a run in the fourth quarter, but you're able to close it out. Talk about the fourth quarter. Well, they they went to zone, um, you know, defensively, and, and uh, we didn't handle it very well. Um, it's not something that. We have not practiced and worked on. We, 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 we spent a lot of time working our, our zone offense. Um, we just didn't do a good job uh, uh, of executing. We didn't do anything with, uh, with, with pace. And uh, I don't know if we were you know, fatigued from the game, but um, you know, we, we made some plays out of it, uh, but, but not quite uh, enough to, 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 to get them to go back to man to man. But I thought our guys, um, especially going down the stretch, uh, came up with the plays. I thought uh, Josh Smith did, uh, uh, you know, did just a great job on, on Blake uh, and going down the stretch. He took the challenge and uh, uh, made his shots uh, uh, difficult. And uh, um, again, we came out with the, the plays at the end. Coach, talk about um, Joe Johnson's tonight. Tonight, he was one assist, one board away from a triple double. Joe has been playing a very um, well-rounded game uh, lately. You know, he, he hasn't been just. He's been out there just looking to score. You know, he's been uh, rebounding the ball. His assist total has been up uh, defensively. He's been doing a uh, doing a really good job, um, and, and he doesn't get you know the credit I think that he deserves for that. But but his his game is really starting to become uh, well rounded, and you know when it when it does, uh, it just makes us that that, that much more uh, effective. And, and uh, you know as I mentioned, he, he you know he's the type of guy you know everybody knows he can score. Uh, but, but again, just doesn't get the credit for the other things that he do. How big was Al at the end, and what was the original plan on that last sequence? That was the original plan. <laughs> 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 no, we, um, you know, with three seconds, uh, uh, you know, left to go, I thought uh, I thought they would be over aggressive uh, with Joe coming to the ball, and so we called. You know, that was a design play, hmm. and uh, that lane opened up for him. He went there with some force, and uh, um, you know, they they. You know, fouled him. You know, pretty hard. It was a nasty spill by him, um, and I thought it was a correct uh, call as far as the flavor. You know, you know, uh, uh, but he, but he, you know, got up. Uh, you know, like a, like the true warrior that he is, and went to that free throw line and uh, knocked two big free throws down. What did he tell you about taking the shots? Did he? I mean, I, I imagine he wanted to stay on. Oh yeah, yeah. He was he he wasn't going to signal come out in, in, in that situation. You know, Al's out. Uh, He's uh, when I say he's a, a warrior, you know, I mean it never says a word. You know, he, you, know, you, you, you practically gonna have to wheel him off the floor you know, to, to get him uh, uh, for, for not to shoot the free throws. But uh, he stepped up there and uh, you know nailed him both. When Jamal Crawford gets going like he was in the third quarter, is it literally as they say, feed him and fan him on the broadcast? Well, he, he's a guy that um, you know certainly when he gets into a rhythm um, and when he. You know that basket starts looking pretty big to him. He, he can uh, he can fill him up and uh, put points on the board in a hurry. And he really got going in that third quarter, which we really needed. I thought, uh, particularly the first half, I thought we were really flat on the, on both ends of the floor. Um, and, and I thought the Clippers did it. You know, I thought they exploited us that first uh, that first half in, in every aspect of the game. And I told our guys that at halftime, uh, we were not playing with uh, you know energy. We were not. Uh, uh, chasing down loose ball, we weren't rebounding. Uh, our floor balance was bad. I mean, every every aspect of the game we were being uh, we were being dominated in, and I threw the challenge out there for them to come back and play the way that we know that we're capable of playing. And uh, you know, they answered the bell. Have you had a run like that in the, in the third quarter where it seemed like everything was going in and the ball was moving so well this this season? Yeah, we've had we've had runs like that. Yeah, we've had runs like that. Um, but you know, I wish we could have more, you know, <laughs> more often. Um, but we did a really good job in the third quarter. I thought uh, uh, when Jamal came in, and, and, and that's you know, that's his role. You know, when, when we're flat and we're uh, a little lethargic, uh, especially on the offensive end, we need somebody that can come in there and, and uh, generate some points and uh, kind of kickstart us. And he, he really he did that tonight, and he did it pretty well. You've now seen Blake twice. What are your impressions of him overall on the court? Well, uh, I mean, he's he's a, he's a good player. You know, he, he's he's a force down low. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that you always have to pay particular attention to and know where he is at all times on the floor. Uh, anything going to that basket, they throw it up in the air. You know, there's a chance that he can go up there and, and get it. Uh, but he's he's a heck of a player.